guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Thanks for joining me for another video. So in today's video, I'm really excited to announce to you guys a new series I'll be doing here on my channel, and it's gonna be called Selling Jewelry on eBay and Etsy. Now, um, the reason I say it's gonna be a series is because each episode will be touching on the different kind of costume jewelry designers that are out there. So, um, for example, today we are going to be talking about the um, brand JJ. Uh, they make a ton of brooches and earrings and other items as well, um, also known as uh, JJ Jonette. So if there is a designer uh, of costume jewelry that you guys want to discuss in particular, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to do some research and um, get that information to you guys. Also, if you would rather see these shows live, let me know in the comments down below too. Okay, so for today, I have prepared a little bit of um, research for you guys. So first of all, let me pull up the pages here. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, the history of the J.J. Jonette Jewelry Company. Now, Village Vintage Girl uh, compiled this, uh, this write-up here. So just going to go through it briefly, it says the J.J. Company was started by a man named Abraham Lisker, before he decided on his career path, Mr. Lisker trained as a physician until he changed directions and entered the jewelry industry, working for several years in Rhode Island. Dang, that was a long sentence, huh? Um, in 1935, he started his own business, Providence Jewelry Company, and produced costume jewelry in East Providence, Rhode Island. Um, and it goes on to talk about the history. Um, here it says in 1970... Uh, 1970 marked the start of the copyright J.J. Mark, which was signed on all pieces from that point on. And then if you come down here, I thought this was really interesting. I didn't know this until I read this page, but it says here in 1986, they registered the name Artifacts and used the Roman numerals, uh, whatever that means, on jewelry cards. So, and I've definitely seen the Artifacts as well, but I had no idea that it was J.J. too. So that is really interesting. So, um... If you guys want to read this complete article, I will link it in the description box down below. Uh, and then here at the bottom, it says, after 62 years as a family-owned private company, Jonette Jewelry Company ended production in September of 2006. Um, <clears throat> so definitely be on the lookout for this brand, you guys. And again, thanks to uh, Village Vintage Girl, I want to be sure and give her credit for this write-up that she did. Um, let's see here. So I found this website on the internet and it's called uh, VintageJoanetteJewelry.com and I thought that she had a lot of really pretty uh, brooches available on her website and as you can see they go for pretty good prices. $49.99, $34.99, $34.99. So and a lot of the times when you know you're looking on eBay and maybe even Etsy a lot of the JJ brooches and such will be marked pretty inexpensively. But apparently there are some rare ones uh, out there. Like if you find one and you can't find that exact one on eBay or Etsy, I would definitely go ahead and mark that one up a little bit higher because there are collectors for this brand. Um, let's see. Close that. Now here are is a listing I did just for the JJ brooch on eBay and as you can see it returned a ton of results 3,636 so I thought it would be fun if we um, sorted uh, highest first and then let me go down here to the solds so we can see what sold what is really selling okay as expected, there's some lots that went really high. Uh, let's see if we can find some ind individual pieces. There's some more of the artifacts that we're, we showed. This one is real interesting. Uh, I talked a little bit about the JJ brand in my jewelry group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. If you guys aren't a member on Facebook, I'd love to have you come join us over there in that group. Uh, but this one here sold for $65.68 with 32 bits. So <clears throat> this is definitely one of the rarer ones. So let's click on it so I can show it to you. And
interesting too that they chose a red background for this picture. It really pops. Okay, finally, here the pictures are big. As you can see, it's gold tone and it's got some little rhinestones in there. Looks like a, you know, like a thundercloud, I guess. That's always good to put a ruler in with your jewelry. I don't always remember to do that, but it's definitely a good idea. It really gives people a scale, uh, you know, look at the items that you're offering. There it is in her hand. Okay, good. So here is the hallmark. You can see it says JJ. So that's what the hallmarks will look like. And I think I even have some pieces here at the house somewhere that might be marked JJ 1988. I believe they talked about that in the history as well. Over here, let me go look. Yeah, in 1988, they, re they released a Southwestern line with the Santa Fe mark sign JJ 1988. That is good information. That's good to know. <clears throat> so there's that. Let's see if we can find any more. Go back one more time. Wow, here's another nice one. This one sold for $60. It is a woman in a bubble bath. That's really interesting. So, I mean, just right off the top of my head, I'm thinking that the gold tone ones might be going for more money than the silver ones or the pewter ones. Okay, that's interesting, but that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I, let me see if I, oh yeah. And I pulled some artifacts up too under the artifacts name, uh, artifacts brooch here and you can see some of those. Let's see what those sold look like. Let's sort ties first. Oh my goodness. That is not what we're looking for. Let's see. I think it's pulling up real genuine artifacts. Let's see here. If we can find one. Maybe if I put the word JJ in there too, that'd probably make a big difference. <clears throat> okay, so not a ton of money. Um, I'm really digging that unicorn there. That's really pretty. But still, they're great novelty pieces, I feel like, to have in your stores or your shops on Etsy. So I would definitely pick them up. They're really unique looking too. Cute little cat, little mini frame. That's adorable. Okay, <clears throat> let me see. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys the ones that I have in my store. So it's not just brooches. They also make earrings too. Here's a pair of Christmas reindeer earrings that I'm offering for $14.99. Let me just pull it up. They are gold tone, kind of like the 3D effect. The head is in the front part, and then the back, when you put it on the back of your ear, the body hangs down. So here's an up-close picture, and then here's the back. You can see it signed JJ there on the body. It's also signed right there, too. So, <clears throat> Also, and yeah, I just got this one not too long ago. I got this one in a jewelry jar. And I have it listed for $24.99. I did the research on that, and I could see that some of them sold for that much already, and that's why I went ahead and put that high price on there. And this one's marked right here, JJ. And I probably paid maybe about a quarter for this one after all was said and done. And I do feel like it's kind of a little bit more rare to find the gold tone ones. I feel like the silver ones and the pewter ones are a lot more abundant than the gold. Here is a little cat playing with a ball of yarn. This one is not selling for too much. It's just why I'm offering it such a low price. But as you can see, it's marked right there, JJ. Super cute and unique with the cat playing with the ball of yarn there. And this one, I, I bought this one, I think I paid either $2.99 or $3.99 for it. And I went ahead and I listed it as um, rare because I couldn't find anything like it. 
So I decided to go ahead and put that high price on there. If I don't get any bites on this here in about a month or two, I will go ahead and put a best offer option on this as well. So, but I just thought it was kind of neat, like a mysterious uh, dark cloud there with the, uh, with the faux pearls on there as the moon shining through. So, and well, if that's the case, what is that other thing over there? Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. What do you guys think? <laughs> that's interesting. I didn't notice that until just now. But yeah, it had some of this stuff here on the back and it didn't, like it didn't want to come off. When I rub my thumb across it, it's flat. So I don't know if that's just due to some aging of the item. I'm not sure. Um, if you guys know, please let me know in the comments down below. So we already looked at all of that. So let's go look on Etsy real quick. What's going on over there? I meant to pull that up and I didn't. Okay. JJ Brooch. Yes, I've been looking at the mystery boxes, you guys. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the mystery boxes right now. Okay, so let's see. How many returned results do we have? 4,935. That is a ton, you guys. So really uh, probably mass produced, but like I said, there are some really rare pieces and I would definitely go ahead and pick them up if I see them and they're cheap enough. Oh, that one's cute. Let's see. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you like the idea I'm trying to run with here. And if there are some jewelry uh, designers that you guys want to talk about in particular, please let me know in the comments down below. I've got a few ideas already lined up for the next few episodes, but um, after that, I would definitely be interested in hearing what you guys have to say. And um, there is lots of money to, to be made with jewelry, you guys. So I hope that you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video with your friends, and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.